Principality of Serbia Serbian, Nezevina Serbia Nezevina Srbija was one of the early medieval states of the Serbs, located in western regions of southeastern Europe. It existed from the beginning of the 7th century up to c. 969–971 and was ruled by the Vlastimirović dynasty. Its first ruler known by name was Vizislav who started ruling around 780. In 822, the Serbs were said to rule the greater part of Dalmatia, while at the same time the Bulgars had taken the lands to the east, preparing to conquer Serbia. Vlastimir defeated the Bulgar army in a three-year war 839 and the two powers lived in peace for some decades. Vlastimir's three sons succeeded in ruling Serbia together, although not for long. Serbia became a key part in the power struggle between the Byzantines and Bulgars, in predominantly Byzantine alliance, which also resulted in major dynastic wars for a period of three decades. Central parts of the Principality were shortly occupied by the Bulgarian army for three years 924–927, until Serbian Prince Kaslav succeeded to liberate the land and unite several Serbian regions, becoming the most powerful ruler of the Vlastimirović dynasty. An important process during this period was the Christianization of the Serbs, establishment of Christianity as state religion c. 869, and the founding of the first Serbian eparchy diocese, the eparchy of Ras. The principality was annexed by the Byzantines in c. 969 to 971 and ruled as the Katepanate of Ras. The main information of the history of Principality and Vlastimirović dynasty are recorded in the contemporary historical work De Administrando Imperio, written c. 950 to 960. Topic Background Slavs Sklavenoi settled the Balkans in the 6th century. The history of the early medieval Serbian principality and the Vlastimirović dynasty is recorded in the work De Administrando Imperio on the governance of the empire, ABBR. Die. Compiled by the Byzantine Emperor Constantine the Seventh Porphyrogenitus, R. 913 to 959. The work mentions the first Serbian ruler, without a name, known conventionally as Unknown Archon. That led the White Serbs to the southeastern Europe and received the protection of Emperor Heraclius R. 610 and was said to have died long before the Bulgar invasion 680. The Serbian ruler was titled, Prince Archon of the Serbia. Archon Serblias. The die mentions that this ruler was inherited by the son, i.e. the firstborn. According to some Serbian authors, his descendants succeeded him, but their names are unknown until the coming of Vizislav. However, it is very likely that attempts by one ruling Zupan after another to subjugate his neighbors led to many conflicts and the custom of the early Slavs, whereby the ruler was succeeded by his eldest relative, not necessarily by his own son, gave rise to further conflicts. Vizislav, Radoslav and Prozogoj circa 780 to 830 
The time and circumstances of the first three Serbian rulers are almost unknown. The first of the dynasty known by name was Vizislav who began his rule around 780, being a contemporary of Charlemagne Florida, 768-814. The first capital of the Serbs was Ras, in Raska. The Serbs at that time were organized into Zup, Sing, Zupa, a confederation of village communities, roughly the equivalent of a county, headed by a local Zupan, a magistrate or governor. The governorship was hereditary, and the Zupan reported to the Serbian prince, whom they were obliged to aid in war. According to Dai, baptized Serbia, known erroneously in historiography as Raska, included the inhabited cities, Kastra Kastra of Destinikon, Destinikon Zanabowski, Zanabowski Megiratis, Megiratis Dresnaik, Dranik Lesnik, Lesnik Salines, Salines, while the small land Korean Korean of Bosna, Bozona part of Serbia, had the cities of Katara, Katara and Desnik. Desnik. The other Serb inhabited lands or principalities that were mentioned included the countries of Paganea, Zahumlia and Travunia, while the land of Duklia was held by the Byzantines it was presumably settled with Serbs as well. These polities bordered Serbia to the north. The exact borders of the early Serbian state are unclear, although Vizislav is only mentioned by name, the Dai mentions that the Serbs served the Byzantine emperor, and that they were at this time at peace with the Bulgars, whose neighbours they were and with whom they shared a common frontier. The Bulgars, under Telerig, planned to colonize some of their lands with more Slavs from the neighboring Bertsiti, as the earlier Bulgar expansion had caused massive Slav migrations and depopulation of Bulgaria. In 762, more than 200,000 people fled to Byzantine territory and were relocated to Asia Minor. The Bulgars were defeated in 774, after Constantine V learnt of their planned raid. In 783, a large Slavic uprising took place in the Byzantine Empire, stretching from Macedonia to the Peloponnese, which was subsequently quelled by Byzantine Patrikios Staurakios. In Panania, to the north of Serbia, Charlemagne started his offensive against the Avars. Vizislav was succeeded by his son Radoslav, then grandson Prozogoj, and one of these two most likely ruled during the revolt of Ludovic Pozivsky against the Franks, 819 to 822, according to Einhard's Royal Frankish Annals, written in 822. Two, Ludovic went from his seat at Sizak to the Serbs believed to have been somewhere in western Bosnia, with Einhard mentioning, "...the Serbs, who control the greater part of Dalmatia." Ad Sorabos, que natio magnum Dalmatiae partum obtinere dissita. Vizislav's great-grandson Vlastimir began his rule in c. 830, and he is the oldest Serbian ruler of which there is substantial data on. Topic: <coughs> Countering Bulgarian expansion, 805 to 29. In the east, the Bulgarian Empire grew strong. In 805, Khan Krum conquered the Branicevci, Timokhani and Obertrites, to the east of Serbia, and banished their tribal chiefs and replaced them with administrators appointed by the central government. 
In 815, the Bulgarians and Byzantines signed a 30-year peace treaty. In 818 during the rule of Omertag 814-836, the Branisevci and Timokhani together with other tribes of the frontiers, revolted and seceded from Bulgaria because of an administrative reform that had deprived them much of their local authority. The Timokhani left the Societas Association, Alliance of the Bulgarian Empire, and sought, together with the Danubian Obertrites and Guduscani, protection from Holy Roman Emperor Louis the Pious R. 813-840, and met him at his court at Herstal. The Timokhani migrated into Frankish territory, somewhere in Lower Panania, and were last mentioned in 819, when they were persuaded by Ludovic to join him in fighting the Franks. The Danubian Obertrites stayed in Banat, and resisted the Bulgars until 824, when nothing more is heard of them. The Khan sent envoys to the Franks and requested that the precise boundary be demarcated between them, and negotiations lasted until 826, when the Franks neglected him. The Bulgars answered with attacking the Slavs that lived in Panania, and subjugated them, then they sent ships up the Drava River, and, in 828, had devastated Upper Panania, north of the Drava. There was more fighting in 829, as well, and by this time, the Bulgars had conquered all of their former Slavic allies. The Bulgarian Khanate later empire had a general policy of expansion in which they would first impose the payment of tribute on a neighboring people and the obligation of supplying military assistance in the form of an alliance societies, leaving them internal self government government and local rulers, and when the need for this kind of relationship expired, they would terminate the self-government of the said people and impose their direct and absolute power, integrating them fully into the Bulgarian political and cultural system. Vlastimir, Mutimir and Privoslav Vlastimir succeeded his father, Prozagoj, in c. 830. He united the Serbian tribes in the vicinity. The Serbs were alarmed, and most likely consolidated due to the spreading of the Bulgarian Khanate towards their borders a rapid conquest of neighboring Slavs, in self-defense, and possibly sought to cut off the Bulgar expansion to the south Macedonia. Emperor Theophilos R. 829-842 was recognized as the nominal suzerain overlord of the Serbs, and most likely encouraged them to thwart the Bulgars. The 30-year peace treaty between the Byzantines and Bulgars, signed in 815, was still in effect. According to Constantine VII, the Serbs and Bulgars had lived peacefully as neighbors until the Bulgar invasion in 839 in the last years of Theophilos. It is not known what exactly prompted the war, as Porphyrogenitus gives no clear answer, whether it was a result of Serbian-Bulgarian relations, i.e. the Bulgar conquest to the southeast, or a result of the Byzantine-Bulgarian rivalry, in which Serbia was at the side of the Byzantines as an imperial ally. According to Porphyrogenitus, the Bulgars wanted to continue their conquest of the Slav lands, to force the Serbs into subjugation. 
Prisian I R eight hundred and thirty six to eight hundred and fifty two launched an invasion into Serbian territory in eight hundred and thirty nine, which led to a war that lasted for three years, in which the Serbs were victorious. Prisian was heavily defeated and lost a large number of his men. He made no territorial gains and was driven out by the army of Vlastimir. The Serbs had an advantage in the forests and gorges. The defeat of the Bulgars, who had become one of the greater powers in the 9th century, shows that Serbia was an organized state, fully capable of defending its borders, a very high military and administrative organizational frame to present such effective resistance. It is not known whether Serbia at the time of Vlastimir had a fortification system and developed military structures with clearly defined roles of the Zupan. After the victory over the Bulgars, Vlastimir's status rose, and according to Fine he went on to expand to the west, taking Bosnia, and Herzegovina known as Hum. In the meantime, Branicevo, Morava, Timic, Varda and Padrimlia were occupied by the Bulgars. Vlastimir married off his daughter to Krajina, the son of a local Zupan of Trebinja, Baloya, in ca. 847–848. With this marriage, Vlastimir elevated the title of Krajina to Archon. The Belayevich family was thus entitled the rule of Travunia. After Vlastimir's death, the rule was divided between his three sons, Mutamir, Strojimir and Gojnik. The brothers defeated the Bulgars once again in 834–835, also capturing the son of the Bulgarian Khan. The Serbs and the Bulgarians concluded peace, and the Christianization of the Slavs began. By the 870s, the Serbs were baptized and had established the Epoche of Ras, mentioned in the Fourth Council of Constantinople, 878 to 880, on the order of Emperor Basil I. Mutimir maintained the communion with the Eastern Church, Constantinople, when Pope John the Eighth invited him to recognize the jurisdiction of the bishopric of Sirmium. The Serbs and Bulgarians adopted the old Slavonic liturgy instead of the Greek. Sometime after defeating the Bulgarians, Mutimir ousted his brothers, who fled to Bulgaria. He kept Gojnik's son Peter Gojnikovich in his court, but he managed to escape to Croatia. Mutimir ruled until 890, being succeeded by his son Privoslav. However, Privoslav was overthrown by Peter who had returned from his exile in Croatia in c. 892. Peter, Pavla and Zaharia The name Peter suggests that Christianity had started to permeate into Serbia, undoubtedly through Serbia's contacts with the Bulgarians and Byzantines. Peter secured himself on the throne after fending off a challenge from Clonomir, son of Stomir, and was recognized by Tsar Simeon I of Bulgaria. An alliance was signed between the two states. Already having Travunia's loyalty, Peter began to expand his state north and west. He annexed the Bosna River Valley, and then moved west securing allegiance from the Narantines, a fiercely independent, pirateering Slavic tribe. However, Peter's expansion into Dalmatia brought him into conflict with Prince Michael of Zahumlia. 
Michael had also grown powerful, ruling not only Zaklumia, but exerting his influence over Travunia and Diaclea. Porphyrogenitus explains that Michael's roots were different from Vlastimirovich dynasty, and was unwilling to yield authority to Peter. Although allied to Simeon, Peter became increasingly disgruntled by the fact that he was essentially subordinate to him. Peter's expansion toward the coast facilitated contacts with the Byzantines, by way of the Strategos of Dyrrhachium. Searching for allies against Bulgaria, the Byzantines showered Peter with gold and promises of greater independence if he would join their alliance, a convincing strategy. Peter might have been planning an attack on Bulgaria with the Magyars, showing that his realm had stretched north to the Sava River. However, Michael of Zahumlia forewarned Simeon of this plan, since Michael was an enemy of Peter, and a loyal vassal of Simeon. What followed was multiple Bulgarian interventions and a succession of Serb rulers. Simeon attacked Serbia in 917 and deposed Peter, placing Pavla Branovic, a grandson of Mutimir, as prince of Serbia, subordinate to Simeon. Although some scholars suggest that Simeon took control over Serbia directly at this time. Unhappy with this, the Byzantines then sent Zaharia Privoslafievich in 920 to oust Pavla, but he failed and was sent to Bulgaria as prisoner. The Byzantines then succeeded in turning Prince Pavla to their side. In turn, the Bulgarians started indoctrinating Zaharia. Zaharia invaded Serbia with a Bulgarian force, and ousted his cousin Pavel in 922. However, he too turned to Byzantium. A punitive force sent by the Bulgarians was defeated, thus we see a continuous cycle of dynastic strife amongst Vlastimir's successors, stirred on by the Byzantine and Bulgarians, who were effectively using the Serbs as pawns. Whilst Bulgarian help was more effective, Byzantine help seemed preferable. Simeon made peace with the Byzantines to settle affairs with Serbia once and for all. Frustrated by the traitorous smaller neighbor militarily, the Bulgarians decided to finish the things once and for all. In 924, he sent a large army accompanied by Kaslav, son of Klonomir. The army forced Zaharia to flee to Croatia. The Serbian Zupans were then summoned to recognize Kaslav as the new prince. When they came, however, they were all imprisoned and taken to Bulgaria, as too was Kaslav. Much of Serbia was ravaged, and many people fled to Croatia, Bulgaria and Constantinople. Simeon made Serbia into a Bulgarian province, so that Bulgaria now bordered Croatia and Zahumlia. He then resolved to attack Croatia, because it was a Byzantine ally and had sheltered the Serbian prince. At the Battle of the Bosnian Highlands, Croatian King Tomislav defeated the Bulgarians, whilst Prince Michael of Zahumlia maintained neutrality. During the fall of central Serbia, Michael was the preeminent Serb prince, having been awarded the honorary title of Patrikios by the Byzantine emperor, and may have ruled over Zaklumia, Travunia and Diaclea. Topic: <laughs> Kaslav 927 to 960. The Bulgarian rule over Serbia lasted only three years. After Simeon died, Kaslav Klonomirovic 
960s led Serb refugees back to Serbia. He secured the allegiance of the Dalmatian duchies and expelled Bulgarian rule from central Serbia. After Tomislav's death, Croatia was in near anarchy as his sons vied for sole rule, so Kaslav was able to extend his rule north to the Vrba's river, gaining the allegiance of the chiefs of the various Bosnian Zupas. During this apogee of Serbian power, Christianity and culture penetrated Serbia as the Serb prince lived in peaceful and cordial relations with the Byzantines. However, strong as it had grown to be, Serbia's power as other early Slavic states was only as strong as its ruler. There was no centralized rule, a confederacy of Slavic principalities existed instead. The existence of the unified Grand Principality was dependent on the allegiance of the lesser princes to Kaslav. When he died defending Bosnia against Magyar incursions sometime between 950 and 960, the coalition disintegrated. After this, there is a gap in the history of hinterland Serbia, in western sources Russia, as it is annexed by the Byzantine Empire and the Bulgarian Empire. The dynasty continues to rule the maritime regions, and in the 990s, Jovan Vladimir Vlastimirovic rises as the most powerful Serbian prince, with a realm of present-day Montenegro, eastern Herzegovina, and Koplik in Albania. This state becomes known as Duklia, after the ancient Roman town of Duklia. However, by 997, it had been conquered and made subject to Bulgaria again by Tsar Samuel. When the Byzantines finally defeated the Bulgarians, they regained control over most of the Balkans for the first time in four centuries. Serbian lands were governed by a strategos presiding over the theme of Sirmium. However, local Serbian princes continued to reign as suzerains to the Byzantines, maintaining total autonomy over their lands, such as in Russia, while only nominally being Byzantine vassals. Forts were maintained in Belgrade, Sirmium, Nis and Branicevo. These were, for the most part, in the hands of local nobility, which often revolted against Byzantine rule. <laughs> Fall and aftermath After Kaslav died ca. 960, Russia. Hinterland of Serbia was annexed by the Byzantines Katepanate of Serbia 971 to 976 and Bulgars Serbia lost its centralized rule and the provinces once again came under the empire Jovan Vladimir emerged later as a ruler of a little land called Duklia, centered in Bar on the Adriatic coast, as a Byzantine vassal. His realm was called Serbia, Dalmatia, Sclavonia etc., and eventually had much of the maritime provinces, including Travunia and Zaklumia. His realm probably stretched into the hinterland to include some parts of Zagoya inland Serbia and Bosnia as well. Vladimir's preeminent position over other Slavic nobles in the area explains why Emperor Basil approached him for an anti-Bulgarian alliance. With his hands tied by war in Anatolia, Emperor Basil required allies for his war against Tsar Samuel, who ruled a Bulgarian empire stretched over Macedonia. In retaliation, Samuel invaded Duklia in 997, and pushed through Dalmatia up to the city of Zada, incorporating Bosnia and Serbia into his realm. 
After defeating Vladimir, Samuel reinstated him as a vassal prince. We do not know what Vladimir's connection was to the previous princes of Serbia, or to the rulers of Croatia much of what is written in the Chronicle of the Priest of Duklia about the genealogy of the Declean rulers is mythological. Vladimir was murdered by Vladislav, Samuel's brother and successor, circa 1016 AD. The last prominent member of his family, his uncle Dragomir, was killed by some local citizens in Kotor in 1018. That same year, the Byzantines had defeated the Bulgarians, and in one masterful stroke retook virtually the entire southeastern Europe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government. The Serbian ruler was titled Prince Archon of the Serbs. Archon Serblias. In Serbo-Croatian historiography, the Slavic title of Knez -nez is used instead of the Greek Arhant. Uh, the die mentions that the Serbian throne is inherited by the son, i.e. the firstborn, his descendants succeeded him, though their names are unknown until the coming of Vizislav. The Serbs at that time were organized into Zup Sing, Zupa, a confederation of village communities roughly the equivalent of a county, headed by a local Zupan a magistrate or governor, the governorship was hereditary, and the Zupan reported to the Serbian prince, whom they were obliged to aid in war. According to V. Korovic, the Serbs at first lived withdrawn in gorges, in their old tribal organization. Byzantine supreme rule was nominally recognized. Domestic rulers, Veliki Zupani, ruled Serbia by right of inheritance. The land was divided between the ruler's brothers, the oldest, as the ruler, had for certain domestic rule in the collective. Historian B. Radokovic proposed that Serbia was a divided principality. According to him, Vizislav could have been a chief military leader Veliki Vojvoda, who with his company seized the entire power in his hands and turned himself into a hereditary ruler, as Veliki Zupan. In this way, the first Serbian state was thus established after 150 years of permanent living in the new homeland and existence of military democracy. However, B. Radokovic's work was discredited by Sima Serkovic in 1960. Topic: <laughs> Geography. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cities. According to Dai, baptized Serbia, known erroneously in historiography as Raska, included the following cities: Castra Castra, with spellings used in Moravicizic's transcript, 1967. The small land. Korean Korean of Bosnia, Bozona Bozona, part of Serbia, according to Korovic was likely divided from Raska at the Drina, and had the cities of Katara, Katara and Desnik. The other Serb inhabited lands or principalities that were mentioned in Dai included the maritime Paganea, Zahumlia and Travunia. While maritime Duklia was held by the Byzantines, it was presumably settled with Serbs as well. All of the maritime lands bordered Serbia to the north. According to S. Novakovic, the first Serbian towns were situated in the eastern and southeastern part towards the Abar and Bulgaria. The dynasty members' flights to Croatia indicates that royal seats were located in the west. 
The meeting between Peter Gojnikovich and the strategos of Dirishan in Narantine lands points to the latter as well. It may be assumed that the eastern frontier was protected from the Bulgars, while the rulers ruled from the western part of the country. The locations of the Serbian towns were proposed in the 19th century, most of the sites were unsurveyed, however. <inaudible> Religion The establishment of Christianity as state religion dates to the time of Prince Mutamir and Byzantine Emperor Basil I. R. 867 to 886, who, after managing to put the Serbs under his nominal rule, sends priests together with Admiral Nikta's Urafas before the operations against the Saracens in 869 when Dalmatian fleets were sent to defend the town of Ragusa. The Christianization was due partly to Byzantine and subsequent Bulgarian influence. It is important to note that at least during the rule of Kotzel of Panania (861–874), communications between Serbia and Great Moravia must have been possible. This fact, the Pope was presumably aware of, when planning Methodios diocese as well as the Dalmatian coast, which was in Byzantine hands as far north as Split. There is a possibility that some Cyrillomethodian pupils reached Serbia in the 870s, perhaps even sent by Methodius himself. Serbia is accounted Christian as of about 870. The first Serbian bishopric was founded at the political center at Ras, near modern Novi Pazar on the Abar River. The initial affiliation is uncertain, it may have been under the subordination of either Split or Durazzo, both then Byzantine. The early Church of St. Apostles Peter and Paul at Ras, can be dated to the 9th-10th century, with the rotunda plan characteristic of first court chapels. The bishopric was established shortly after 871, during the rule of Mutamir, and was part of the general plan of establishing bishoprics in the Slav lands of the empire, confirmed by the Council of Constantinople in 879–880. The Eparchy of Branicevo was founded in 878 as continuation of Vimanasium and Horum Magi. The seal of Strogimir died between 880 to 896. The brother of Mutamir was bought by the Serbian state in an auction in Germany. The seal has a patriarchal cross in the center and Greek inscriptions that say, God, help Stroji Mir Peter Gojnikovich R. 892-917, was evidently a Christian prince. Christianity presumably was spreading in his time. Also, since Serbia bordered Bulgaria, Christian influences and perhaps missionaries came from there. This would increase in the 20 year peace. The previous generation Mutamir, Strogimir and Gojnik had Slav names, the following Peter, Stefan, Pavla, Zaharia has Christian names, a notice of strong Byzantine missions to Serbia, as well as to the Slavs of the Adriatic coast. In the 870s, the Bulgarian annexation of Serbia in 924 was important for the future direction of of the Serbian Church. 
By now, at latest, Serbia must have received the Cyrillic alphabet and Slavic religious text, already familiar but perhaps not yet preferred to Greek. Notable early church buildings include the monastery of Archangel Michael in Prevlaka, Ilavica, built in the beginning of the 9th century, on the location of older churches of three nave structure with three apses to the east, dating from the 3rd. 3rd and 6th centuries, Bogorodica Havostanska 6th century, and Church of Saints Peter and Paul. <laughs> Archaeology Church of Saint Apostles Peter and Paul in Ras Sokonika Basilica Gradina, Sabisevska Reka, in Raska Gradina Martinica, Zeta Gradina, Brasinica, near Sienica Gradina on Jalika, near Kakak Gradina on Poste, near Peter's Church See also List of Serbian monarchs Names of Serbia Duklia Serbia in the Middle Ages White Serbia before 610 Serbian Grand Principality 1091 to 1217 Serbian Kingdom 1217 to 1345 Serbian Empire 1345 to 1371 Fall of the Serbian Empire 1371 to 1402 Serbian Despotate 1402 to 1459